The Circle of Fifths is the subject of my latest ebook release, and in this video, I wanted to share some insight from the book with you. Many players will make the assumption that the circle is only useful for key signatures and working out the chords in a key, but in fact, it goes much deeper, and you can use the circle in the study of things like intervals, chord construction, and even the major scale modes. That's what we're gonna look at today. So to start things off, here is a quick win. Take any note in the circle. Let's take C at the 12 o'clock position. Add to it four segments clockwise. There you have the five notes of the C major pentatonic. C, G, D, A, and E arranged in order gives us C, D, E, G, and A, the root two, three, five, six of the C major pentatonic. That will work from any note. Try it yourself. What are the five notes of the B flat major pentatonic? That's right, it's B flat, F, C, G, and D in order B flat, C, D, F, and G. So what about the minor pentatonic? Well, you may be aware of relativity between major and minors. The same is true of pentatonics in that the notes of C major pentatonic will also be the notes of its relative minor, A minor pentatonic. So highlighting the A note this time, there we have the five notes of the A minor pentatonic. And if we bring that slice back onto the C note, then in turn we have the five notes of the C minor pentatonic. So from any chosen root, you will add three segments counterclockwise and one segment clockwise for your five notes of the minor pentatonic. So why is that relevant with regards to modes? Well, the thing to know is that major modes will contain the major pentatonic scale. Minor modes will contain the minor pentatonic scale. This is particularly useful for us guitarists if you're coming into modes from a pentatonic background. If you know your pentatonic scale patterns, then what you can do is add in the additional two notes to be creating the different modal sounds. Any seven note mode can be created from a seven segment slice of the circle. So from the five pentatonic notes, what we need to do is add an additional two and then we will have a mode. If we look at the major scale modes, first of all, those two additional notes, where can I add them? I can either add them clockwise to the pentatonic, I can add those two notes counterclockwise to the pentatonic, or I can add one note on either side of the pentatonic. If we go with that first option, so adding two notes clockwise to the major pentatonic, with C as my tonal center, that gives me the notes of C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and B. You may know that these are the notes of the C Lydian mode. Similar to the major scale, but the fourth degree, the F, has been sharpened. F sharp for an augmented fourth, the formula of the Lydian mode. So those are the notes of C Lydian, but what are the chords? But once you have a seven segment slice established, the rules will always be the same for the chords. The first three segments will be your major triads, the next three segments will be the minor triads, and then the final segment will be the diminished triad. But that's not all because the two notes on the extremities of this seven segment wedge are a distance of a tritone apart. C and F sharp are three whole steps apart, in this instance an augmented fourth, and this tritone will give us one or both of the characteristic notes or tones of the mode in question. So for Lydian, the characteristic sound that differentiates it from the others is this augmented fourth. And we see that in the tritone between C and F sharp. So that's Lydian. From any notes, you add six segments clockwise and you've got your seven notes of the Lydian mode. Let's consider option two, taking one note on either side of the major pentatonic. That finds us replacing the F sharp with an F natural. This looks familiar to us. It is the seven notes of the C major scale, also known as the C Ionian. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. What are the chords of C Ionian? The rules are the same. The first three will be major triads. 
the next three will be minor triads, and the seventh is the diminished triad. The characteristic tones of the Ionian mode, looking to the tritone, we have the notes of B, the major seventh, and F, the perfect fourth. If we look to option three, adding those two notes counterclockwise to the major pentatonic, we are replacing the B with a B flat. Arranging those notes in order is C, D, E, F, G, A, and B flat, the notes of C mixolydian. Resembling the major scale, but the seventh scale degree is flattened for a minor seventh, and we have mixolydian. What are the chords of C mixolydian? The first three will be major triads, the next three segments are minor triads, and the seventh segment is the diminished triad. And for the characteristic intervals, looking to the tritone, we find the notes of E and B flat, the third and the minor seventh. So they are the major modes in order of descending brightness. We're getting darker as we cycle through. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, Lydian is considered the brightest mode when compared to the major scale because we have gone as far as sharpening one of the intervals from C major we sharpen the fourth degree and we get C Lydian. It is considered brighter than C major. If we flatten that fourth, then we have the perfect fourth F and we find ourselves at C Ionian. If I go ahead and flatten one of those intervals, the seventh, and then at C Mixolydian. So at each stage, we are getting increasingly, what we say, darker as we go through the different modes. This, I think, is a more beneficial way to think about the modes as opposed to the order in which they appear in the major scale. That is, of course, particularly true when we bring these ideas to the circle. At this point, then, we are now into the minor modes, and our reference will then be the minor pentatonic. So keeping C as our tonal center, we have the notes of the C minor pentatonic but like we just saw with the major modes, to get the three minor modes, we have three possibilities. Adding two notes clockwise of the minor pentatonic, one note on either side, or two notes counterclockwise. Our first option, if we move the segment around one step counterclockwise from mixolydian, gives us two notes clockwise of that minor pentatonic, and we have C Dorian. C Dorian is C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat, or root two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven. What are the chords of C Dorian? Well, those first three triads are major, the next three will be minor, and the A is the diminished triad. And what is the characteristic tone of the Dorian mode? It is that major sixth, and we see that note, the A, in the tritone between E flat and A, the flat three and the six. See where we're going with this? Let's continue. We're gonna to go to the next option. So we take the segment another step counterclockwise. We are replacing the A with the A flat. We are flattening the sixth scale degree. And then we have the notes of C Aeolian. C, D, E flat, F, G, a flat and B flat. And there, once again, are the chords of C Aeolian. What is the characteristic tone of the Aeolian mode when compared to the others? Well, it is that flattened sixth, and we see that again in the tritone. The last option for the minor modes then is the two segments counterclockwise of the minor pentatonic. In doing so, we are replacing the D with the D flat, the two with the flat two to give us the seven notes of C Phrygian. C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. And there are the chords. The first three again are major triads, the next three will be minor triads, and the seventh is the diminished triad. The characteristic interval is the flat two of the Phrygian mode, and we see it once again in the tritone. Last but not least is the Locrian mode, considered the darkest of all the modes, and we get that when we take our seven segment slice one final step counterclockwise, with C being the most clockwise of them all. In a sense, the mirror of the Lydian mode. When you do that, you replace the G with what will be G flat at the six o'clock position, and we have the seven notes 
of C Locrian. C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, and B flat. So starting from the Lydian mode, if you take that seven segment slice and move it gradually one step counterclockwise, you are passing through each of the seven modes when keeping the tonal center the same. That order of the modes then is in decreasing brightness or increasing darkness, you could say. Lydian, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, and Locrian. And wherever you place those seven segments, the order of the chords will always be the same. The first three will be major triads, the next three the minor triads, and the final segment is the diminished triad. The handout for the lesson will be available to all members of my Patreon group. Thank you for your continued support. And if you'd like to find out more about the Circle of Fifths, you can do so with the guitarist's guide to the Circle of Fifths available from my online store with the link down below or in the cards. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much. You practice well and I'll see you next time.